happening in Fayetteville, a nonprofit is looking to bring more housing options. These would be specifically for people who make less than $68,000 a year and struggle covering housing costs. Fox 24's Crystal Martinez takes us to where the units could be built and explains what it'll take to start the building process. Cobblestone Farms is right off Weddington Drive in Fayetteville between 54th and 51st Street. The land has sit here for 12 years. New Heights Church owns the 45 acres of land. Jim Hall with the church says as of now, only about 10 acres is being used. All we've used it for so far is for another nonprofit to farm the land and provide food uh, for food banks and, and basically for the poor in our community. But that's going to change. Hall says he's offered to lease part of the land to Endeavor Foundation for free. The CEO of the foundation, Jeff Webster, says it's looking to add affordable housing options here for people with a household income of twenty-nine to sixty-eight thousand dollars and struggle to cover housing costs. And that's really the fabric, if you will, of Northwest Arkansas. He says he was inspired to help after a study published by the Walton Family Foundation called on people to help families struggling to find a home they can afford. His answer: to build about ninety homes, a mix of duplexes and triplexes. Those folks need rents that are anywhere between $400 and $700 a month. So that's one bedroom up to four bedroom that would be $400 to $700. Hall says the units will take up at least a dozen acres here at the front of the farm, but the rest of the space will go towards growing the community. Sorting and distribution center will be built there. Hall and Webster say with the help of other nonprofits and businesses in the area like the Potter's House, they're looking to build a community center and make the farm into a community garden. The church is excited. We're just going to be happy to see something wonderful happening on the land. But before these plans can be put into action, Webster says they'll need approval from the city council on two proposals. They'll vote on the annexation into the city and then the zoning that is required for what we're doing. Webster says the city will have to approve both measures to make the March 2nd deadline to apply for federal funds. In Fayetteville, Crystal Martinez, Fox 24 News. Thank you.